Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at scrubs in the TrueNAS system. So what is a scrub and why would you want TrueNAS to be doing it on your pools? Well, a scrub is a data integrity check. What TrueNAS is doing when it runs a scrub in your system is it's looking for some sort of silent corruption of your data. And if it finds it, that might be an indicator of some sort of transient issue with your hardware or network when you're transferring the data. Or it might be an indicator that you've got a drive that's failing and you haven't seen any other sign of it so far. It could be an indicator of a couple of things. It's an extremely useful thing for TrueNAS to do for you. So how do you run one? How do you set one up? Well, we're going to set one up on a scheduled basis on one of my pools. So the first thing that we're going to do here is log into the TrueNAS system itself. And then on the left hand side, you've got the option for tasks. And then you can hit the option for scrub tasks. So we can see that I've already got a scrub task set up for my vault pool, but we're actually going to set one up for my media pool as well. So I'm going to click the add button on the top right hand side. And then I'm going to be prompted with a couple of options. So you've got the first option is to select your pool. Now, if you're a small or a home user, you've probably only got one pool. Most users in TrueNAS only have the one pool itself. But if, you, if you've got multiple pools like I do, then what you want to do is set up one scrub task per pool. So here in the drop down menu, uh, we know that I want to set up the scrub task for the media pool. So I'm just going to select the media pool. And then you've got the option for threshold days. <laughs> so threshold days is uh, a little bit of a difficult concept, but the idea is that the task runs on a schedule, so it might run every week or every day or every hour or every month, whatever you set it to, to run at. But the threshold days prevents the task from actually happening unless it's been at least that many days since the last time it completed. So what do I mean by that? If I didn't change these from um, 35 threshold days, but I set this to run daily, then TrueNAS would run the first time and then Tomorrow, it would look again to try and run again. It would see that it had run yesterday, and that is less than 35 days ago that it had run and completed, and it would not run the scrub task. So this is the minimum amount of time that has to pass between tasks before it will run again. So TrueNAS defaults to 35 days, and uh, <laughs> scrub your data more often than every 35 days. Um, even as a home user, um, I would recommend scrubbing your data uh, much more frequently than this. Um, even on an enterprise system, you might have some other integrity controls in place, but it's it's probably quite helpful to um, run a scrub on your data more than every 35 days. Uh, personally, I like to make sure that we run it uh, roughly once a week. So I... Um, would set the threshold days for about seven um, days here. Why not more often? Well, scrubs are still very CPU intensive. They're still very hard drive intensive. They spin up your, your drives and they're they're using some activity. Maybe you're doing something else and you want those resources for something else. It's also there's very little benefit to be gained from doing a scrub more frequently than maybe every couple of days, uh, two or three days, because you're probably not going to, to catch that silent corruption much, much faster. Um, you can see what I mean that maybe 35 days is too much, but for me, seven days is perfect. But your mileage may vary, whatever makes sense for your um, system. Then you've got the option, it's a, a, a uh, non-mandatory field to add a description. But uh, I don't need to because I know that when I see the scrub task for the media pool, that what happens with this task is it tries to run a scrub. So uh, I'm not going to fill that out. And then we've got the option for the schedule. So again... TrueNAS is going to try and run the task every day at roughly this time, or sorry, uh, at, at roughly this schedule, but it will only actually run the task if it's been less than the threshold days. So even if I set this to run every hour, then it won't try, it won't actually do the scrub unless seven days have passed. So I'm just going to go ahead here and select weekly, um, sorry, custom, and I'm going to set it so that the task runs uh, weekly on a Sunday. Uh, so we've got months here and then days of the week. So if I leave these months blank and I set a couple of these uh, values for the minutes, hours, and days, it will run on a Sunday. So I don't want to run it at midnight, which is the default value here at uh, zero hours. I'm going to try and do it at four in the morning because I know that that's a time when my system is going to be on and uh, when it's going to be available to run the scrub. I'm probably not going to be using it unless I'm having a um, a very fun weekend. Um, and then we can see here on the bottom left how often and when it thinks that it needs to run. So it's going to try and run uh, this coming Sunday and it's going to try and run the following Sunday. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So then I just hit the done button and then I'm going to hit submit. 
And then we can see the uh, scrub task uh, here. And we can see that it's going to try and run again in 12 hours and that's enabled. So that's great. Uh, I can confidently let it uh, sit there and it'll run tonight and then I will get some notifications in the morning if their true NAS system has found some problems. But what if I wanted to start a scrub now? What does a scrub look like when it's uh, successfully completed? Well, if I go and check the status of the last scrub for the vault, there's a couple of ways to do that. The uh, most convenient way for a lot of people to do it is to go to the shell. So on the left hand side, that's hit the shell button. And then you can type in zpool status and it will give you the status of all of your pools. And there's quite a lot of data here um, where it talks about the last time that the scrubs, a uh, number of things, but one of the, the pieces that it includes here is the last time that it, it scanned, uh, how much data the scrub repaired, because it does try to repair it, um, how long the scrub took to run, how many errors there were, and when the last time that the scrub ran was. So that's one option. The other thing that you can do is you can hit the pools button on the left hand side under storage. And then we can take a look at our pools. We can hit this gear icon on the top right hand side. We can hit the status button. And we can see that the last time that a scrub ran, scrub ran it's currently finished. It had no errors and it ran on the 15th. So that was uh, last Sunday. And finally, what if I wanted to run a scrub, not on a scheduled basis, but right now, if I was concerned about my data and I just thought I would like to run a scrub and I'd like to see what the, the data is uh, like for it. So again, I can hit the gear icon on the right hand side and then I've got the option to scrub the pool here uh, under add bdevs. So if I just hit scrub pool, it will ask me, do I want to start a scrub on the vault pool? And I can just confirm and start that scrub. So then it'll start the job here. And we can see it switched over to the scrubbing status and tells me that it's 0.0% complete. So we don't want to sit here all day. So I'm just going to hit close on that button. But if I wanted to uh, get an update on where it was with the, the scrub, I could just hit the gear icon and then go back to that status page. And I would see the percentage that it was complete and then the time remaining. Now, TrueNAS is telling me that it's going to take several hundred days. It's just doing a scan at the minute to try and figure out how long it's going to take. In a minute or two, that's going to drop down to a much more reasonable time. Uh, TrueNAS can be a bit like Windows like that, sometimes where it's not 100% sure how long it's going to take to complete. Roughly on a, a data pool of this size, um, which is a terabyte of, uh, of data across, um, I think, uh, six drives, it usually takes uh, about an hour, two hours, maybe at most three hours, depending on what's going on. We can see that it's it's massively dropping down here and it's deciding that it's actually only going to take a couple of hours instead. So that's it guys. That's how you would set up a scheduled scrub on your TrueNAS system and that's why you would want to do it. So at this stage, I would again ask you to go ahead and do the YouTube dance, which is to like, comment, and maybe subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out and lets the YouTube algorithm know that this is content that some of you uh, think is worth watching and I would really, really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.